Hi, this is Randy with Quad Education, helping students get into their dream college. Today's question comes to us from the writing section of the SAT exam, and we're looking at question number 14. If you notice in the answer choices, we have one and two word answers. And I'd like to refer to these as transition questions because the words provide a transition from the previous sentence to the next. How we approach these questions is that we read the sentence or two before, we don't read the underlined portion, and then we read the, the rest of the next sentence. Once we've done that, we see how the two sentences compare. If the two sentences contradict each other, then we would choose words such as however, despite, although. If the second sentence is a consequence or result of the first sentence, we would choose words like as a result, consequently, therefore, thus. If the second sentence provides new or additional information, we might choose a choice such as moreover, in addition, also, furthermore. So let's give this one a try. Typically, the ice sheet begins to show evidence of thawing in late summer. This follows several weeks of higher temperatures. And we skip the underlying portion. In the summer of 2012, virtually the entire Greenland ice sheet underwent thawing at or near its surface by mid-July, the earliest date on record. So in the first sentence, we find out that typically the ice sheet thaws in late summer. And in the next sentence after the transition word, we found out that in the summer of 2012, the ice sheet underwent thawing by mid-July, the earliest date on record. So here we have typically late summer. In the next sentence, we find out it's the earliest date on record. Those two sentences contradict each other. So we would choose the word, however. Now, incidentally, if we had two answer choices that meant the same thing, such as moreover and furthermore, those two answers would cancel each other out. So that's a neat trick as well. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on tackling SAT and ACT concepts. Bye for now.